What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about should you learn PHP in 2018? Now this is a question that comes up all the time. And when you're talking about PHP, it's a language that has a love-hate relationship with a lot of different coders. There are those who feel it's the absolute best and others who feel it's a relic of years past. All right, so let me just talk about what PHP actually is. PHP is a server-side coding language. It's used by the vast majority of websites, from everyday blogs to small businesses to Fortune 500 companies. Now, PHP has been around since 1994 and released in 95. And over the years, it has evolved significantly. And this is one of the reasons why it's used by over 83% of websites. Now, PHP is part of a popular coding stack that a lot of web designers and developers use. And that's HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and MySQL. And nearly every single web server has PHP installed. Most web servers use the LAMP stack, which is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now, what does PHP actually do? Well, as a server-side coding language, it provides dynamic features and functionality that HTML by itself just can't do. It's used to process forms, and it provides interactive features that's served by the server side. Now, what does the server side mean? Well, the server, a web server, is a computer in a data center, and that's where websites live. So when a person visits their favorite website, they're using their browser on their computer to request those files or that website from another server, which is again, a computer. Now, one of the cool things about PHP is your code is processed on the server side, which means it's never actually delivered to the end user. This means that a person from their browser cannot just right click and view page source and view your code. Of course, they can still see the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript, but your PHP code cannot be viewed on the browser. And as I mentioned, PHP is on nearly every single web server. Why? Because it's absolutely free. You could download PHP to your computer and you could work with it and you could use it to power your website. It's also one of the most well-documented coding languages you'll find. And there's more online tutorials for PHP than any other server-side coding language. So now with all that being said, why do so many coders seem to hate working with PHP? While some feel it's not a well-designed language, others feel that it has too much legacy code within the code base. And some feel it's not a focused language like some of the other modern languages used. But what you have to remember is PHP has been around for a very long time. And over those years, it has evolved. PHP is fast, it's secure, and it's very easy to learn. Now the million dollar question, can you find work with PHP? To answer this question, let's take a look at who uses PHP. Some of the biggest names online use PHP, and this list is just a short list of some of the companies and open source projects that use it in their coding stack. Now since PHP is used by everyday blogs to large company websites, it's a language that opens up a lot of doors if you're looking for work, especially if you're looking to be a freelancer or if you're looking to work for another agency. And PHP is also here to stay. If you look at all the trends, PHP's usage continues to increase and that trend isn't changing anytime soon. Now I use PHP as my language of choice and people will say, well, you use PHP because you use WordPress. And that's true. I am a WordPress developer and I create themes for people to use on their websites, but I've been using PHP longer than I've been using WordPress. One of the main reasons why I chose WordPress is because every client I got was asking for it. And since it uses the same coding stack that I use, which is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and MySQL, it was an easy transition to make. So now to answer the question, should you learn PHP in 2018? Well, if you wanna find freelance work or if you wanna work for a large agency, then PHP is an easy choice. Now, if you ask me what other language you should use, Python will be on top of that list. Python's a general purpose coding language. It's time tested. There's a large community of developers who swear by it, and it's easy to learn as well. Now, Node.js is another server side language you can work with. And if you're already familiar with JavaScript, then working with Node is probably gonna be a very easy thing to do. Just remember, when choosing a coding language, you have to determine what are your long-term goals, where and how do you wanna work, and if you're working on a team, what coding language do they use? Because obviously you don't wanna be the oddball out. But for web development, PHP is still the way to go. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts or opinions, leave them down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Take care.
Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up. 